Hi and welcome to Discipleship 101 and today we're going to look at step 8, exercise 5 and that is fellowship. And we're going to talk about fellowship with other Christians. Now, uh, I can't stress this point enough to, to say how important it is for you to be part of a group of believers that come together together on a regular basis to share with one another, to love, to encourage, to support one another. It's so important. Um, it's important because that is what God wants for you and, and He desires for us to be together. And, and we need one another. We need to be accountable towards one another. Now, in the Greek, in the Bible, we find a word, koinonia, that means to share in common. Now, the early church believers uh, devoted themselves not only to the teachings of the apostles, but they devoted also themselves to coming together as believers. And Paul explains for us in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse, uh, from verse 13 onwards, um, that the believer is baptized into the body of Christ, and he or she becomes a member of that body, and each member has a function in the body. Now, just as your body have different parts and need one another to function um, properly and effectively, so we need one another as members of the body of Christ to function as a body and to function effect effectively. Now, koinonia means that we are united in purpose, serving alongside each other. Our koinonia, our fellowship with one another, is based on our fellowship with Jesus Christ, our Savior. Now, listen to what 1 John uh, chapter 1, verse 6 to 7 says. It says, If we say we have fellowship with Him, that's Jesus, while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. Verse 7, if, but if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus the Son cleanses us from all sin. So, um, I want you to go and read all the scriptures that, uh, that um, I provided in the um, on the website, on the document, so you can go and download it there. And also ask yourself this question, um, what do they mean and how do they apply to you? Uh, and what koinonia means um, in the sense that you need to be actively participating in a Christian community. So please go and do that. And, and yes, there are times that we get together to fellowship and enjoy one another's company company maybe over a braai or or watching rugby together or just eating together and enjoying one another's company when we have all these informal social gatherings but koinonia actually reveals a very a, a much deeper level of fellowship and uh, we are not only friends as christians as believers but we are also family we are the family of god we are um, brothers and sisters in Christ and that that connects us um, that brings us together not not our color of our skin not our culture um, or or our background where we come from but we are united in Christ and he brings us together so I would like you to go into the notes and and just in you download the, um, the notes from the website answer those questions that that is that is asked there also ask yourself, and this is important, that you ask yourself, where do you fit in the body of Christ? Where do you play a role? What is your function? And uh, how can you make a difference in the people and the lives that God has placed around you? Um, and how can you also support them and encourage them in their Christian walk? So... Uh, again, please go to openbaptistchurch.co.za, you go to Discipleship 101, you can click on Step 8, download Step um, 8 under this uh, Discipleship process, and also ask that, um, answer those questions, and um, yes, and then 
May the Lord bless you and until next time, we'll talk again. Amen.